You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost. Here comes Nikki A.S.H. A.S.H. Almost a superhero or more like super villain. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. The Raw Women's Champion, almost a superhero, Nikki Lately, Nikki has been more like almost a super villain as opposed to a hero. That's what we call trending in the right direction, Saxton. That's what I call heartbreaking. Don't let the get up fool you. Nikki A.S.H. is a battle-tested competitor. Hey, she helped revolutionize women's wrestling in Europe. And now Nikki's only interested in helping herself. It's called looking out for number one. She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, She's won multiple titles. She's the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She's married to the best commentator in the history of the business. Carmella is proof you can have it all. She's not married to me, Corey. Shut up, Cole. Nikki A.S.H. more than ready to compete and prove herself here tonight. Yeah, but when exactly will she prove herself enough to be more than just almost a superhero, Cole? When does she officially become a superhero in training, huh? I'm sure Nikki knows exactly when the time will be right, Corey. We'll just have to come along for the ride. And she'll be facing off against the always opportunistic Carmella. And that is a backhanded way of saying that Carmella has one of the best in-ring IQs in the business. Come on, Saxton, I thought you were better than that. Wait, actually, no. Sit up, jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. They're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Stomp to the leg. Saw it coming and got out of there. Oh, shot to the jaw. Placed into the corner. She's able to get out of the way. And some effective offense with that one. 
Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that Carmella should talk less. But I will say Carmella's trash talking possibly allows her competition the perfect opportunity to counterattack. All her opponent needs is one opening to capitalize on, and she could negate all of Carmella's masterful mind games. One wicked attack after another. And Nikki didn't see that coming. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Nice running crossbody. side and it looks like she found that opening against Carmella now can she capitalize even from the top good lord taking flight you want to talk about putting it all on the line always an extra risk Two. when you dive ringside Nikki heads up this is gonna be good Three. you gotta be kidding me big time risk pays off the daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that She's in the ring now. Oh, straight forearm. And Mella now finding herself on the wrong side of momentum. Yeah, Nikki is clearly in control. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. Fist directly to the gut. Carmella showing she's not out of it. Now's her chance to get back into this match. Unnecessary. She's taking a beating here. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Nikki's got something in store. Carmella's in crisis. The champion winning the match here tonight begins the celebration. A hard fought victory. Oh, look out. Oh, look who's here. Oh, from behind. Never saw it coming. And now your ex. Oh, got the title. Got the title. Again. Oh, man. Just tattooing the champion. 